Hey, Jeff from Village Connection Radio. I'm at the New York International Auto Show, and I got Brandon Sauls from the Saratoga Automotive Museums. Okay? Yep. All right. So, tell me what is going on today with your cars. Yeah, definitely. We're from Saratoga Springs, the museum. Uh, the mission of the museum is cars raced in New York and cars made in New York. Yeah. So we've put together a display here with the New York Auto Show in conjunction with. Uh, they invited us down. Um, and we're featuring cars that were raced in New York, made in New York. And we have one car that's going to be part of our auction in late September. Um, that's going to be on the stage of the Saratoga Performing Arts Center. And all these cars were part of the race? Um, the cars in the back were yeah. raced in New York. So you've got an Allard from Watkins Glen that raced in the 40s and 50s okay. on the uh, road course at Watkins Glen. Uh, we have a 1909 Alco Black Beast Yes. that was part of the Vanderbilt Cup. Uh, won the Tell Vanderbilt me more about the Vanderbilt Cup. Yeah, the Vanderbilt Cup was in Long Island. Yeah. Uh, it was the uh, socialites, the Vanderbilts, uh, that had a lot to do with New York here and Saratoga Springs where the museum is. Yeah. Um, but a lot They're racing like upstate New York and on Long Island, right? Yes, the Vanderbilt Cup was all on Long Island. They did move it to Savannah, Georgia for yeah. a year. Yeah, okay. Um, and I'm not sure what the move was for. Um, but the car that we're featuring here uh, is called the Alco Black Beast. And it was actually featured in the 1911 New York Auto Show. Okay. When it was at MSG. And it also ran uh, at the first Indy 500, which is probably one of the most famous races in the world today. Okay. Uh, so we've got a nice lineup. Uh, the cars that are made in New York. Uh, we have a Playboy from Buffalo, New York. Okay. Uh, it's a prototype that was built to help sell that car. It's probably the first compact car, similar to like a Metropolitan Nash. Okay. And then we also have a Franklin that was built in Syracuse, New York. And the Franklin was all up air cooled, so there was no cooling involved with a Franklin, similar to like a BMW motorcycle just use the air to cool the engine. Okay. Um, so that was kind of the innovation that that car held on to um, throughout its uh, life as okay. a manufacturer. Okay. So if I want to know more about the Saratoga Automotive Museum, is there a website I could yeah, go to? Yeah, you can go to saratogaautomuseum.org. Uh, we have a great defensive driving programs at the museum. We do a lot of outreach with local schools uh, to teach safe driving. Uh, and you're on Facebook? We're on Facebook, Saratoga Auto Museum. You can find us on Facebook. Is there an email that somebody, if almost somebody wants to write to you? Yeah, you can go info at saratogaautomuseum.org. Okay. That just comes to all of us. And so do you do a lot of events up there? We do, yeah. We have some texting simulators that actually kids sit down at and adults. Okay. Um, and it puts you in real world situations. Um, you're actually supposed to take out your phone and text while you're driving. Um, just so you can see the ramifications of not being able to pay attention when you have your phone in your hand. Yes. So we do, you know, every six months we have a new exhibit at the museum. Um, right now we're featuring an exhibit on auctions, uh, specifically related to our auction that we're going to have in September, which is a fundraising tool for the museum. Um, but yeah, check us out on any social media we've got. We're on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Okay. Well, it's great to meet you. I got yeah, Brandon from so. Saratoga Automotive Museum. Okay, have a great day. Great, thanks, man.